Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a half Persian 4-in-1 rainbow bracelet. I'm using the rainbow color scheme here, even though it can be made in a variety of different metal tones and colors, because um, the sequence that I'll be going through will help us to differentiate which rings we're working with and which ones need to kind of, you know, wait for a minute. Um, so we're going to start with silver rings open with a color of each, each color of the rainbow on there. The first ring will be a silver with a red, yellow, and orange threaded on them. I know that usually it's red, orange, yellow, but this is important here and I'll show you why. Um, we're going to grab it by the red and the orange rings, which by the way, I coil and cut all of my own bright aluminum, but I get my anodized stuff from the Ring Lord and CNT Designs. I'll have links in the comments below. So we're holding it by the red and the orange, and I'm going to stack the orange underneath the red like so, and then bring the gold off to the side there. So even though they were threaded up on this silver ring a little strangely, um, it does thread on properly. And so now you can see too um, how I have the silver one positioned. Oh, and the camera just freaked out, <laughs> as it do. I'm gonna get that camera angle from a different view, just like that. So you can see how I'm holding it. Now this is a really slippery, tricky weave to start, so don't get discouraged. I'm gonna take open silver with a closed yellow and thread through, that's called pinging rings. That's how you know you're doing chain mail. <laughs> thread through an orange and a red, and then come around through the gold. The materials, or the tools that I'm using here are just regular needle nose and bent nose pliers. I recommend using whatever you're most comfortable with. And so now, this is the ring that we just added. I'm going to grab the red ring and the silver, because that kind of orients me a little bit, lets me know what I'm doing. So you can kind of see how they come together. Even if you feel like you're not getting it, just stick with it for a little bit. Um, starting it really is truly the hardest part. Here I've got a silver ring with a green closed. I'm going to come up from below the gold, hooking through just the gold, and then through just the orange from the back, and then I'm coming around on top through the yellow. And I'm going to close. Whenever you get a closure, you want a nice, even closure. No gaps, nothing that'll snag your body hair or anything like that. And then, you... sometimes the rings will pucker up like that. You want them to lay down nice and flat so that the ring that just kind of hangs loose is sitting there on the back. Now I'm going to pick up a silver with a light blue. Then I'm going to thread through the yellow and the gold from the back. And I'm going to thread through coming in from above on the green. I do not recommend this weave for beginner chain mailers. That's why I'm not going so much in how to open and close rings on this one. Um, because this is, this, this weave can be quite challenging. That is perfectly normal. I recommend watching a bunch of different videos, look at a bunch of different tutorials. I'm just showing y'all how I do it because any, the more, um, knowledge you accumulate, the more different perspectives you'll see, the more you'll be able to know how this works best for you. So I'm just passing on my knowledge about how I do it. So I'm taking a silver with a dark blue, threaded on it coming in behind just hooking just the green then hooking up through the yellow so it's coming through like that and then I'm going to come in from above through the light blue and close it I'm very careful with this weave to not set it down because in the early stages like I mean now that I have this much done I can drop it and there's still as 
an established weave that I can you know, reference back to. But um, until that happens, though, um, it's a little bit of a nightmare <laughs> to drop it. <laughs> This will this will shave good years off your life. So now we're going to repeat that rainbow color pattern. I've got an open silver with a red on it, and I'm going to hook through the light blue and the green from below, and then come through the dark blue above. Also, some folks consider this speed weaving since I'm adding multiple rings at a time. There are different ways that you can add just one ring at a time if you want it a little bit more simple and direct and to maybe help build up your understanding of the weave. But um, this, again, this is just how I do it. It's not really about how you get there. It's the end result. <laughs> So now I'm going to come through the dark blue and the uh, light blue and I'm going to close it and you basically just keep repeating this. Um, it's starting this one is so difficult but once you get it it's you just kind of keep going. So. At least for me, this one was one of the hardest ones to learn how to start and ended up being one of the easiest ones to just keep weaving because, I mean, it's so pretty. And I'm going to add on my last ring that I've got set up here, going through the orange and the red. Now, if you all enjoyed this nice short tutorial, um, please like, share, and subscribe. I have a link to my Patreon page down in the comment area if you want to um, even for just a dollar a month that can go towards supporting keeping my tutorials free and keeping them coming once or twice a week so I would really appreciate it if you could go kind of poke around and show some love there even if you can't donate just if you like and share with your friends it means a lot to me so there's a little segment you can keep that going for however short or long as you like and here are some different examples of this one is done all in the champagne colored anodized aluminum. This one is antiqued copper, um, enameled copper from, I got the wire from parawire.com. And I mean, just the way that this weave is so serpentine and nice and flat, it's very comfortable to wear too. This is what the complete rainbow weave looked like. I can get the camera to focus. It's like the colors, Duke, the colors. <laughs> But please let me know what y'all think. I would love to see pictures or videos of what y'all make based off of this tutorial. And uh, I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Happy crafting. And I'll see you guys around.